Welcome to Landscape Architecture. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use AI tools to transform sketches into renderings for architecture and landscapes, generate room backgrounds, furnish spaces, and share other useful tips. First, let's turn a sketch into a rendering. Open the Prome AI website and click on Sketch Rendering from the left sidebar. Upload your sketch image. You can set up the style first, such as comic or realistic. I personally prefer realistic. Next, define the sketch as a building and choose the desired building style. There are many pre-trained models for different architectural styles, so you don't need to learn complicated prompts. In this case, I'll choose futuristic as the building style and set up the environment and click generate. I got three generated images, and except for the last one, the results are pretty much what I was looking for. You can edit the elements in the generated image by clicking the icon on the image and selecting Erase and Replace. The tool will automatically define the objects in the image and highlight them in purple. For example, if I want to replace the grass with water, I simply write water in the prompt you can see that the grass is quickly changed to water. Let's try another test with a different architectural style and a foggy environment. I particularly like the first one as it fits well with my architectural style. It's important to choose a style that complements the drawing. For instance, Selecting a gothic style for rendering might not align well with the original drawing. However, if I choose a parametric concrete style and set it to a night scene, the outcomes are pretty good. I really like it. You can also export the image to high resolutions for print and presentation. This function is great for testing styles and facades. By having a rough idea on the sketch, you can test many different facade styles, saving time on model building and rendering. Creative Fusion is another very useful function. You can use it to generate artistic and non traditional architecture. For example, I blend an architecture image with a reference image of metal, set the render mode to precise or outline, and choose a style intensity of 40. The metal materials are well applied to the building. There are also many traditional architecture rendering styles available to choose from, such as night mode. Some of these styles are very useful for urban design rendering. Let's go back to landscape sketch rendering. For landscape plans, I prefer to use the V1 model. You can switch to this model using the button on the bottom right bar. There are many pre-trained landscape plan styles available. I chose the park style this time. And now my plan sketch is beautifully colored. This feature is a significant time saver for initial client meetings. I also like the realistic style. Simply click on the style you prefer and then click Generate. I really appreciate the color and depth in these results. The generated images accurately preserve the content of my original sketch without any distortion. The next function is particularly interesting. It's called Background Diffusion. With this feature, you provide an image of furniture, and the AI generates various interior design styles to complement the furniture. For instance, if I choose a Cuba contemporary style, the AI will generate three interior renderings that fit the perspective of my furniture in contemporary style. You can see that the overall interior design fits well with the perspective of the furniture. This feature is particularly useful when a client has a specific piece of furniture they prefer and wants to see how it would fit within their home. 
We can generate various pre-trained interior styles to let the client see which one they prefer. This process eliminates the need for building models and rendering, and it's more concrete and understandable for clients compared to abstract mood boards. To try this AI tool, simply click the link provided in the description. I used Prome AI to streamline my workflow from 3D sketch to rendering. It's quite convenient for presenting initial concepts to clients and team members.